and this is uh, some work that was put together during the process of, of actually both designing and vetting the architecture. So two or three years ago, we were, uh, we, a woman named Sarah Tariq, um, was developing this application and we used, used it to better um, understand what the workload looked like <coughs> as well as understand what the programming interfaces should be, how they should be structured. So what you're seeing here is um, curves, they're actually cubic curves that are generated by the tessellator, uh, randomly placed, basically stochastically placed within triangular patches on the skull. Um, and then those lines are, are fed to the geometry shader, and then the geometry shader actually generates um, little quads along the path of the line. So that the, the hairs actually have finite extent in screen space. And then in the pixel shader, there's a, a fairly sophisticated isotropic shading model uh, applied to, you know, produce fairly realistic hair. You want to turn on the sure. wind for just a second? That's, that's bad. Uh, <laughs> this is the first time I've seen this happen in days. Get that. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. And this is just to sort of highlight the fact that there are also, also physics calculations going on, including the interactions with the, uh, the pedestal. So, any, uh, any questions about this? Th this one does have elements <coughs> in it. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, I oh, forgot right. that. Thank you, Jonah. Yeah. So here we are, we're running around 30 frames a second, but if you, this, so this was um, a fair amount more sophisticated. Oh, I actually back know it's, it's back up to 50, okay. So push it off into the distance, um, and it changes the level of detail. In this case, it's sort of the number of hairs that are generated. Um, and the performance is up to around 140 frames. Um, so the idea being that by being able to control the level of detail, you can sort of deploy these techniques across a larger number of characters. If the character is right up in your face, you can basically devote, devote all the computational power to rendering that character. But if there's, you know, hundreds of them, um, you get a lot of leverage out of the hardware level of detail control. Uh, it also simplifies the authoring process in the sense that the <coughs> artists don't have to handcraft a large suite of levels of detail. There, it still may be necessary for an army off, in the, off on the horizon to be dumbed down to some billboards, but you know, the, the elasticity of a given model, the range of levels of detail is, is vastly improved. Okay. Um, any questions? Okay. All right. We should switch.